effect, let's play Dragon Age 2. So, we no longer have a 15 minute time limit, which is awesome. And you want bows? So we're gonna go get Abilene. And see the Viscount, who's the ruler of Kirkwall. We'll see if there's any... Oh, yeah, I didn't get this. I read that on the recording. Forgot to say before I exited out because we were kind of low on time. I think I'll be doing Dragon Age for 25 minutes. I know that's a long video, but this gate, this series will take forever and a day if we don't uh, don't do that. But now I don't feel so stressed for time, and that is a nice feeling to have, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the Viscount Dumont's later layer. Hierarchy of the Circle, this one's really long, so I will just scroll through. I'll try to read some of the shorter ones with my annoying screeching voice. So that should be enough to give everyone time to scroll through. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. We won't go straight to Aveline. This is kind of a walkthrough. How much longer do I, have to I actually know you a lot of the secrets. Dance. So this is also a long one. But we are going to get as much lore as we can. Because I really like it. And for those who actually watched the whole series, you will see some pretty... Awesome stuff. Hopefully in Dragon Age 3 that this will all make sense. The Viscount is suspicious, but the bribe was sufficient to gain access to the restricted section of the archives. The money would have been better spent elsewhere, the archives being almost devoid of Imperium-era records. When the slaves revolted, they hunted magisters and burned the city, at least the parts that could be burned. One account says that the streets were littered with piles of scrolls and books set aflame. Is our quest futile? Did our sl the slaves destroy the answer? As Mepharis' armies toppled the Imperium, they sent three Magisters and their legions here. They never arrived, but why march here of all places? What were they coming here for? Behind a panel with curious markings signed the Band of Three. We're going to find a lot more from the Band of Three. We'll also get a quest here. We do have some, some pickup quests here and there, but not too difficult to find their Good day to you, sir. owners. So they really just we walk by, drop them off, we get a little Good bit of talk I've from the person, but we won't stick around. So the Kirkwall City Guard, I will scroll through. I'll read it. It is with pride that I, your Viscount, grant the authority of law and civil enforcement upon the guardsmen of an independent Kirkwall. No more, no more will we defer to the will of a foreign troop or draw a holy order into tasks unbefitting their mandate. These proud men and women will be of the people and will enforce the laws we have elected for a civil and ordered society. And we should the specter of an, and should the specter of invasion return, the noble guardsmen will conscript from the population for who better to amass the people's will than with the constable of law charged with its inspection. This is a great day, fair Kirkwall, and I am honored to appoint the first guard captain. Long may he serve the will of a free people. From Orlesian Legacy, How to Institutions of the Oppressors Linger, the speeches of Viscount Mikhail Lafal, collected by Philium A. Bard, with a exclamation mark. So there's Aveline, we'll talk to her in a second. We have a study of the Fifth Blight. Well, some of my contemporaries dispute whether the Fifth Blight was a true blight or merely a large darkspawn resurgence. Historians agree that it began in the swamps of the Kakari Wilds on the southern southeastern border border of Ferelden in the year 930 Dragon. King Caelan Theron was swift in responding to the threat gathering the royal army, even Grey Warden, every Grey Warden in his country, and spending a call for aid to the Ferelden nobility. The assembled armies laid a trap in the ruins of Ostagar, hoping to crush the forest before it reached civilization, but they failed. Darkspawn overran the defenders of Ostagar and decimated the king and his army. They continued their advance into Ferelden unopposed, only two Grey Wardens managed to escape the slaughter, and somehow they came into possession of ancient treaties, which compelled the races of men to join armies against the massing horde. So that was Volume 1. Nothing else in here?
nothing in here. And a pretty, yep, a locked chest, which we'll have to switch to Varric for. I love doing I really think Danny DeVito in his prime would have been perfect for that role. And we will now talk to Abilene. Aveline. Hello, Hawk. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, I... Well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. Which means she treats us like a child. Patrolling, I've got time. A person in your position seems like they might learn some profitable things. You know better than to ask that. But I did ask it. One day you'll be frustrated enough to go for it. It's like I'm sitting on my hands. There are dangerous people in this city. And outside the city. In fact... I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing. My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. All right, Aveline. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. You're acting on behalf of the guard. So we now have Aveline in our party, so she is our tank. We won't be keeping Carver when we can trade him out for someone better. But we have to do the quest for tranquility first. I'll go to the... These are our rumors. They will come important later. So we had to do tranquility to unlock the rest of our companions. But we will actually do birthright as well in this video. So we have our mini-map. We can travel to Galen's house. Which we actually will do. I know I said I wouldn't. So someone dropped off a message for you. It's on the desk. Not before he <coughs> gave it a shake to see if there were coins inside. I, I was... He was worried they'd fall out. So we got bait and switch, which is another companion out. quest. So I'm gonna get all of these items, which I know I said I wouldn't do in the last video, but we now actually have a lot of time to do it. And they'll make our companions a little bit stronger going forward. So we will put the dog of war away. Bard's on or Fiona. Longbow. Doesn't really matter. We don't need these. I should be on the lookout for the things that I can wear. Oh, like that. So, quick flight, we don't need those, 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 those. I won't do this a whole lot because who wants to sit here and watch me go through all this? So, this will be the only time we see this. So, that's for 17. Just gonna scroll through these real fast. So, we have the armor that we need, so we'll keep that, put that away, put that away. Alright, we have what we need. So this will show our character screen, we only have four characters, so full party. And we will check the Black Emporium, since we have that quest. Is it 25 minutes, I think, will be the run time for this, and then we will equip... I think this is the first time we've, second time we've shown equipment. 
We can equip our people with a little bit of stuff. So we're going to give her better armor and weapon. And Varric with his refined gentleman sash. And here we are in the Black Emporium. And that's where we're going to leave it. We don't really need anything else. It's just a shop with some specialty goods. So we're going to do Tranquility first, which will probably show off some of the nighttime assassins coming after us. And then we'll do Birthright. We'll probably have Anders in our party, who is the character we'll be meeting here soon. Varric, do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk. Is that it? You are dismissing Don't. hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. So, Aveline and Varric don't get along. Aveline, as I've said before, is kind of like team mom. And I missed a quest up there in my flight to do something impactful in this story, or in this episode. Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. I haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athenra. Been a while. Heard you're going on some expedition into the Deep Roads, and right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? We can't all make a living in the Undercity. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? A Fenril's scarce these days, and the Coterie have their own mixers. You find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. My speciality. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? So this is our poison and grenade shop. We don't really need to use poisons as a mage. <laughs> Dark school. We'll get in a little tussle here with the Coterie. That's the Assassin's Guild. As I said before, if the pausing bothers you, I'm sorry, but it gives us an edge in these sorts of things. There is a crafting mechanic. I'm not going to stress getting everything. This isn't a 100% completion run. This is just a story run. If you want to call it that, I want to call it that. We are gonna take. We're gonna start tranquility. Then we're gonna do birthright, and then we'll end this episode with tranquility. Here's Kirkwall Darktown. Darktown was once a mine controlled by the Deventer Imperium. Once exhausted, the mine shafts were extended under the city to dispose of sewage from Kirkwall's overcrowded population of slaves. Unsurprisingly, the tunnels became a refuge for those fleeing captivity. A similar trend continues today. The Undercity, as some call it, is home to the diseased, the insane, two criminals, and even the dead. Unwanted corpses are often discarded here by murderers and lazy undertakers. Darktown slums make Lowtown look pleasant in comparison. The foul miasma known as choke damp clogs and swells in every corner of the Darktown, creating a poisonous mist. Its sewers are a dangerous place. The walls are damp, slick, and coated with phosphorescent lichen. The sewer is a maze, and one foolish enough to enter is not likely to be heard from again. From in pursuit of knowledge, the travels of a Chantry scholar by Brother Genetivi. So, we're gonna go meet one of our companions. We won't be carrying him around for... Except for when we need him for quests. But he's another mage, an apostate like us. And if we weren't healing, he'd be our healer. But I specifically took healing so that I wouldn't have to carry him around. He's a he whines quite a lot. made this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? Strange occupation for a warden. 
Aren't you more about taint and death, not healing and salvation? Did the Warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pounce a lot. He hated the Deep Roads. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. Isn't there always? I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Oh, that's all. I might just take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. Doesn't fighting them prove their point? They don't need more reasons to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make her willing, we will all leave free men. So, we have to go and rescue his friend Carl, who's in a paw state. Or it is a circle mage. The circles I've explained are where the mages live. This one's pretty long, so I'm just gonna scroll through. Alright. So Bert's rights right here. We are going to run through that real quick. Well, this looks Shut up, Carver. This is kind of what is supposed to be your introduction to the quests of the game. Um, we don't really need that because we've already done a couple. So we're going to encounter some guards, and they're not really going to be much of a chance against us. I may actually move the difficulty up to hard. If things get a little too smooth. This isn't really supposed to be a, a let's look at the fighting of Dragon Age, but I don't want to put it on. And here's History of the Kirkwald, part one. Scrolling through. Hopefully we'll be able to do tranquility really like to do a good bulk of content per video now that I don't have to worry about the time really like the mage class in this game I, I like mage classes in all fantasy games so expect to see a lot of those types of things in further videos and series just finished the cave before I started recording this so that's one series down I'll be replacing it with Amnesia, which I've said a I'm few here. times. Right we'll scroll through this. Basically is a history of our family, the Amels. This actually may be where we have to leave off. So, I'm not spending... Oh, got hit by a trap. That is why we have Varric, but he's still kind of low level, so don't expect him to be of much help. help. Okay. We'll also see our very first excuse me, uh, mage enemy at the end of this. And yeah, I actually think we'll end it here. Finish up Tranquility. Starting to get a bit of parsing on how long we can go and how much we can actually accomplish. Really happy that we got the time limit extension. You know, this is a lot of bookkeeping to be talking, and I, I do try to keep those the weekend uh, videos, but I'm pretty, pretty stoked. 
So there we go. Uh, hopefully that was slow enough to be paused through. So there will be a trap here. We're going to pause the game and let Varric take care of that. No more worry about that. He's basically just, you know, saying, grumble, grumble, you know, he knew he should have killed. And we need to get him out as soon as freaking possible. They really are just the worst. As you can see, they can make themselves invulnerable to damage, which is a bummer. The goal for this playthrough, though, is to not let a single one of our teammates die. Generally, you're only supposed to have three people, but I've done this enough that I don't have to worry about it. We'll have Varric come and undo this. Luck. And I think our companion will be able to handle this. Got the vault key. History of the circle. This is a really important one. It's really long, so I'll just scroll to the top and go a little bit slow. Alright. And we actually glitched that trap. So we're not going to linger here. That has to be the vault. If there's anything to learn about the family, that's where it is. So, we are in our family home. We'll get our chest, which will have our grandfather's will. So this is it. Grandfather's will. Let's just take it back to Mother and be done with it. I don't think there's any point in delaying the news. And we will end at Gamlin's house, because I think this will enter us into a cutscene. So I'm just saying... Blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. It's only fair if you make something of a monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? Uh, really like that maybe outfit. Maybe just put something towards food. You should be paying us, Uncle. We found the will. Grandfather left everything to mother and us. I guess he had some sense after all. See for yourself. Uh, ah, I should maybe... To my daughter Leandra and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown and all associated revenues. Check out the part where Gamlin is left only a stipend to be controlled by you. Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. So, Gamlin's kind of a repugnant pile of crap. And I actually think this is a pretty good place to leave it on that note. So we will save, because if I don't, Fraps really is not a, a friendly system with this game sometimes. So guys, as always, I appreciate the watches, and I will talk to you tomorrow.